Um, so Saturday night, what are your thoughts? Now that we're, we're sitting here, it's Monday morning. The the Khabib McGregor fight went down Saturday mm -hmm. night. Um, obviously hugely disappointed. Yeah, that we didn't get the result on the night. Um, I still enjoyed it. I thought it was a great fight. I'm looking forward to watching it back many times. All of Connor's fights, I always pull a load of lessons away that I can pass on to the, the next generation of guys. But yeah, overall, I, I really enjoyed the fight, and I'm devastated that we didn't get the, the Yeah. Win. How much time did he have to prepare for this fight? Um, I mean, he's always in the gym. He's, al he's always knocking about. But I guess it was official about 10 weeks, 10 weeks out. But even since the Eddie fight, I kind of knew, or at least I thought his next MMA fight would be Habib. It just just kind of made sense. If it wasn't going to be the, the Diaz, but then as time went on, that, that seemed less and less likely. And Habib obviously was doing great, get, you know, kept on winning. So there was a, a, a path that was going to collide. Was there anything that was surprising in the fight? Um, the, the, the right hand in the second round was, yeah. was a cracker. It was beautiful overhand right. I mean, it's a, it's a staple of wrestlers overhand right and close, but he doesn't uh, generally do that. He's more jab and then close, but mm -hmm. that was a great shot. Um, the style of takedowns, everything was kind of what we expected, and we, we'd spent a lot of time in preparing for that. Um, yeah, just, I, I you know, <clears throat> kind of expected round one, <clears throat> for sure going to get a takedown. So the, the goal of round one was to get out of it still having energy. We didn't want to put a huge amount of effort into trying to get back up in round one. We'd seen that happen many times in his other opponents. And they kind of got back to the stool, you know, really tired. So round one, make him pay, you know, <clears throat> do our best on the way in. Fight as hard as we can. But if you do end up down, it, which it was against the fence, figured it would be there. Tried to stay seated up. If we end up on our back, just try to play guard until until the until the bell. Except it'll be a ten nine round. Um, <clears throat> for round two, again, I, I, same same plan. Uh, do as much damage as we can. But if we end up on our back, uh, don't put a huge amount of effort in trying to get up. He's an absolute master at regrounding people. Um, that turned out to be a ten eight round. You know, he got some good shots there, and obviously he landed the great uh, right hand. So that was a bit more than we uh, hoped for. Round three, things started kind of turning a little bit in our favor. And um, we did a lot better at keeping it in the middle, defending the takedowns. So the plan was to slow him down a little and watch him slow down a little bit in the third, fourth, and fifth? Yeah, exactly, yeah. So I think at the beginning, the, the, the consensus was Connor knocks him out in the first, or Habib, you know, takes over from two on. Like, for us to win the third round was probably a bit of a surprise to people. But, um, you know, you know the Alaquinta fight, if you look at that, from round three on, he wasn't able to hit any takedowns. Um, so hoped that would be how it would go in round three. We could defend the takedowns a lot easier and start landing air shots. And, and that did happen for, for round three. Not as well as, I, as we planned, not as well as we hoped. And then uh, round four, you know, we hit another great takedown. <clears throat> Made a mistake giving up the overhook, exposed our back. And uh, that was all she wrote. Yeah, he has such a unique ability to tie both legs up with his legs. Yeah, in round so one, good in, in round one, I thought uh, Connor did well. We had practiced for that for uh, to keep our legs bent. Mm -hmm. You know, you see guys they straighten their legs and then, boom, and Connor did do that a couple of times, but he was able to c continuously get a leg free. So, uh, not until the last thirty seconds or so of round one, he didn't really tie them up and get him flat on his back. For the majority of that, he was against uh, the fence. You know, used his hands to keep upright, tried to land little shots. Um, yeah. And George, you uh, you dealt with Connor's weight cut. You deal with his overall nutrition as well. Yes, sir. Pull that microphone close to you, like we talked about. Here right, we go. Right, right here. Yeah, you yeah. can move it up if you want to stay where you were. <laughs> Technology. There you go. There you it's, go. A, it's, a, it's a work in progress. You uh, you work with him on his weight cut. Like, what what was his weight before he started camp? Um, you know, it, it's almost exactly the same way. Uh, it was when we we actually started the cut. Um, you know, we wanted to make sure that his weight was a little higher than uh, you know. Obviously, with the boxing with, with with Floyd, you know, speed is everything, and we wanted to kind of slowly drop that weight down. But with this, we want to keep him as big as possible, and then you know, cut all that weight so he can. What was his weight? He was about one seventy one when he got back into that cage. So. So you know, what was his weight when you guys started camp? Uh, about the same thing. Same thing? The exact same thing, yeah. It was all about So it's not an extreme weight cut. 
No, fifteen-ish no. pounds. Yeah, 